Being at the Beckman Institute has definitely been a stimulation intellectually for me. It's exposed me to a lot of different research ideas that I would have never encountered if I had stayed strictly in my home department. What we really try to do is bring people from various different uh, backgrounds and bring them together here in the same building. There is a new quality that, that happens when you bring people together and they, have to, they, they actually rub shoulders, they, they run into each other and you have the serendipity of the conversation that all of a sudden opens up something new. That's something that we are very, very lucky to have here in the form of this beautiful Beckman Institute. It's often the projects that we're involved in are really bigger than any single domain and it allows us to encourage collaboration and support interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary projects that really should be attacked from different disciplines. I'm Ted Brown. I was the founding director of the Beckman Institute here at uh, Illinois. I had been professor of chemistry and uh, in the administration at that time. In the course of that work, I was one of the principal figures in developing the proposal to Arnold and Mabel Beckman for the Beckman Institute. The problem with most university structures, and certainly every one that I knew of at that time, and it was that it's all organized along very hierarchical lines. You have departments, you have colleges, and the boundaries between them are very large sometimes. People in different departments have trouble collaborating, even though their interests may overlap. The idea of interdisciplinary research wasn't, you know, very big at that time. I mean, in fact, there were a lot of people who felt that you couldn't really do good science if you were trying to do too much interdisciplinary stuff. So we had to kind of overcome some obstacles of that sort. A lot of it had to do with uh, convincing department heads that it was okay for their faculty to do this and so on. It was in 1983 and I organized a couple of committees of faculty members. Uh, one of them was chaired by Bill Greeno, a psychology professor. The other was chaired by Carl Hess, who was a professor of electrical and computer engineering. We decided that we would see about putting together a very broadly based multidisciplinary proposal to make it possible for people to jump these intellectual boundaries. And we had help from people like Mort Weir and others to try to conceptualize this thing. That idea of making one place where all of these different disciplines can work on problems which are really big. I mean, it's things that nobody was doing at the time. And you have to have you know people who dream those big dreams and you also have a place where they can do them. So that was what we wanted to do. The design of the building, we knew what we had to do. We had to have labs, we need to have offices and so on. But we wanted those to be designed in such a way as to promote interactions. So we have big spaces where we put graduate students in these open office spaces. The faculty offices are all in a row and, and they have to go somewhere else to talk to their students. The bridges, you know, we had tables on those bridges. The cafeteria, so it promoted interactions, especially among the students and among the postdocs, you know, the, those are the people you want to talk to one another. The money was granted by Arnold Beckman in 1985. There was a formal groundbreaking in the fall of 86, and we were done building at the end of 89. The great thing about Arnold was that he was willing to take a chance on this thing. I mean, this was not business as usual, you know. We were planning to have all kinds of things in there that weren't the kind of science he was familiar with, psychology, linguistics, and behavioral sciences. But he, he saw that there was a coherence to this whole thing, and he had the imagination and the vision to say, you know, if these guys can pull this off, this could really be great. That was, then the Beckman Institute was born out of those discussions between Ted Brown and Arnold Beckman, which has changed the whole landscape in terms of biomedical research, energy research, environmental research. All the big ticket items now have benefited from this move towards interdisciplinary work. And that happened here at the Beckman Institute. He set the stage for the Beckman Institute. And it is today, what it is today, because of Ted Brown. I want to say too, I think, you know, it's just a representative. I mean, Bill Greeno and Carl Hess and how many other faculty members put their heart and soul into this thing? I was just, you know, the guy who waves the wand a little bit and these guys did all the work. So uh, if it could come to this happy conclusion, uh, all the better. <laughs>